say hello boy. Oi kiddo, kiddo, my boy, my kiddo. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I it looks like an Easter dream, don't I? And I feel like I have just like the cutest headbands on. I'm obsessed with this like radiant pearl. Ugh, it's everything. So today we're gonna be swatching the new Maybelline Green Edition lipsticks. These are called the Green Edition Buttercream lipsticks and I have all 10. We're gonna put them on my mouth. Oh, you're wondering what these are? Let me tell you. It's Maybelline's new green edition collection. It is high performance makeup with a high percentage of natural origin ingredients. In this buttercream collection specifically, there's 86% of natural origin ingredients. Their green edition collection is more of like a holistic approach to makeup, which is like all fine and dandy. That's not specifically my like forte per se. Like I put anything on my face, let's get real. But they do have four pillars which kind of make this collection. So one being made with natural origin ingredients, two being packaging made with recycled material, vegan formulas and clean formulas. So on their website it says formulas are vegan meaning they have no animal derived ingredients. Clean formula means we have chose to formulate the product without parabens, mineral, BHT, petroleum and silicones ingredients some consumers are seeking to avoid. Let's get real, let's get this off the table. Sometimes when cosmetics are clean and natural they're not always the best performing product. Now if they have developed high performing makeup that is more of like of the natural origin ingredient and kind of found a middle ground that's interesting to me because I feel like we're kind of going on this wave of like everything wants everyone wants like purity and everything to be pure and whatever that's not always the best case especially if you want performance of a product so I'm really interested to see how the performance of these hold up compared to other products that maybe don't have such natural ingredients in it so Let's do it. I'm gonna do them in numerical order, which is what I always do. So when you're approaching a planogram on a wall, you can find what you want. I am gonna remove my lip balm to give it a fair shot. Numero uno is called ecliptic, and I don't think I've ever read that word before, and I have no idea if I'm reading that correctly. <laughs> We're starting off dark. Well, my first impression is that's pigmented and creamy. Okay, this is giving me MAC Diva vibes. This is such a pretty color. Oh my God, I love this. What do we think, ecliptic? I've never read this word before. On my lips, it feels great. It doesn't have a scent. I mean, it is clean, right? So it smells like a lipstick because it doesn't have any fragrance in it. There's no additional whatever hoopla in there. So it just smells like a lipstick, like a bullet lipstick. Super creamy on my lips. Of course, because it is a cream lipstick, it will transfer. That's the nature of the beast. What do we think? Do we like this color? When you guys ask for like a compilation of all, of, like me removing all of this, y'all don't want that. I, I don't want that. All right, next up is 004 Maple. And she's red, folks. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't know why I call my lipstick she's, but that is such a pretty red. It almost has like a coral undertone to it. Oh, I love that. It's like bright and punchy. Oh, I love that. Mm, what is this called? Maple? Ah, uh, 004 Maple. Next up is 005, and this shade is called Rainforest. So I'm understanding that the names are all... There's a cat hair. Do you see that? Oh my God. That the names are all of the earth. I'm of the earth. Oh, is there anything better than a new lipstick? Oh. These are high performance. They're pigmented. Did you see that? Okay, to me personally, I feel like this one should have been called maple. You know, I am Canadian, so I know my way about like a maple or around a maple. Around maple trees? Maybe, whatever. It's more of like an orangey red and that's my point. She's pretty. I love it. This next one is called 008 Floral and literally there couldn't be a more perfect name. It's like what looks like the prettiest pinky. This is the shade everyone wants. Let's put her on. I suspect she's going to be popular. She's pretty. She's a little bit more, has like more of a yellow undertone than what I like personally like. Because do you see like I feel like it makes, it like pulls out the yellows in me. But it's so pretty. Like if you have like a little bit of a tan, listen I'm white as a swallow, okay? Oh, this is so pretty. She's gonna be popular. 
This was 008 floral. Oh, this I feel like goes really well with my look. I like don't want to take it off. I might put that one back on to wear tonight, honestly. Oh, and she had pigment. Look at that. My lips are stained. Wow. Okay, next up is 009, and this one's called Juniper. Isn't that so cute? Oh. Oh my god. Wasn't that the name in one of Amberlynn's poems? Is anyone else part of the girl world? Comment and let me know if you are. Ooh, they are creamy. This is such a pretty rose hue. <gasps> what do we think? This, I think this one's gonna be popular too. That's pretty. And you guys, they are really creamy. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's like feeling a little like makeup forever -y and like ysl -y. This goes well with my makeup too. Which am I gonna choose? How am I gonna choose? Next up, we are halfway there, you guys. So this one is called Lagoon and it is 010. Lagoon. Why did I say that so weird? Just like reminds me of Peter Pan, you know? Oh my god, this is my favorite one. I don't care what comes next or what I've seen, this is my favorite one. I love this. This is such a Bailey shade. Like, I'm wearing this shade tonight. Huh. Let's have a moment of silence for her, okay? Oh, yes. I don't care what happens. I will always love you. Always. No matter what. Also, I hope you guys get the, like, mini egg vibe. In, like, my viewfinders, it's almost coming across, like, grungy, dirty. But like in person, I feel like it looks like a mini egg. I mean, I went a little overboard, but that's just me. Alrighty, you guys, here is more of a nudie. This is called 011 Glacier. And it's like, from what I, I mean, let's put it on, but it looks more like a brownish taupe rose. <laughs> anyway, let's put it on. Okay, that's literally how, it, oh, they're so creamy. Like, I could just sit here and do this forever, but I know I'm just wasting product at that point. <gasps> brown, what did I say before? A brown taupe rose? Literally what I would, literally what I would describe this as. I like that, I would like, I would love to use this with like, just like a bronzer over my eyelid and like a huge lash. I feel like that would look so hot. Maybe some like faux freckles and like extremely like bronzed and contoured. Ugh, I feel like it would give like, very like Gigi Hadid like 2018 like Met Gala vibes. Was that the Met Gala I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, that is number 010, 010, 010, 011 Glacier. Oh my, oh, oh my god. What is happening? My math. Next we have shade 12, well 012, whatever, which is called Shore. Ah, oh, this looks so pretty too. What am I gonna do? Like, I'm just trying to like see how easy. Oh yeah, okay. They're in there. I don't know why I had to do that. It's like these intrusive thoughts I have to like compulsively. Anyway, <laughs> let's put Shore on. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty nude. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I actually love this. I feel like I don't necessarily need a lip liner with it. Like I feel like I would just like on the corner just because I am so fair and I like that definition. <gasps> But isn't that a good nude for me? Oh, I like that. Mm. So 12 short, ooh. Oh. All right, back into some darker tones now. This is 018 and this is called Musk. Musk, Musk. Oh, let's put the musk on. Ooh, and she is musky. I mean, it's a pretty like brick orange, like not gonna lie, but Definitely not for this look, but she's musky. You know what this whole look actually makes me feel like? It makes me feel like, you know, those like really bad, over the top, like makeup looks from the 80s and like early 90s where it's like just color and then just like this color of lipstick, just like the punchiest orange. I look like I'm like in like a Cosmo or something. <laughs> okay, we've reached the end of the line. This is shade zero, what is happening with my mouth? Zero 020 and it is called forest so let's put her on Ooh, what do we think of forest why is it always so much harder to get crisp sharp lines with a dark lipstick Maybe because you notice everything right oh my god she's nice deep forest deep in the forest the tree trunks and 
whatever else, moss, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, like, as outdoorsy as I get is, like, sitting on my balcony. Like, I'm not trying to, anyway, that is 020 Forest. What do we think? Do we love it? I love it. I actually do like it with this look just because I feel like, remember when I said it was, like, reading a little bit, like, gothy as oh my god this old man came up to me i went to a jets game and he came up to me and he was like oh are you goth and i said sir just because i'm wearing black doesn't mean i'm goth he's like oh i didn't mean to offend and like he was like 86 anyway well that's my life i hope you enjoyed because i know i did <laughs> anyway <laughs> there's all the lipsticks you guys i hope you guys enjoyed my i already told you what my favorite was i don't need to repeat myself i like this one too but do I think they're high performance? Yeah, I mean, they're pigmented. They're not like shitty. They don't have like a weird, like, you know how some like natural products, it can kind of get a funky smell. Like sometimes you need those preservatives in your makeup in order for them to last, in order to be safe on you. And a lot of the times I think people get hung up on this like purity thing, that everything needs to be pure and pure on my body. But guess what? Water is a chemical. You know, sometimes you need chemicals in your makeup. Anyway, that's a rant for another day. I like these lipsticks. I do think they're high performance and great shades. So go check them out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also a close up for you guys because I mean, this is everything. Is it not? Oh, it's everything. <laughs>